So I'm looking at this arbitrage opportunity here, and it's it's actually quite fun developing because when I'm developing, I actually see arbitrage opportunities. And every now and then I see one where I'm like, this is just, it's got to be way too good to be true. And so I wanted to actually record this video for you so you could see a little bit like what this process is like, but also to see some of the issues that you might come across when you're looking to arbitrage. So for example, here I'm on PancakeSwap and I've got this WBNB and I've put in some ridiculously low amount of BNB to this coin here called Rocky. And if I copy this amount of Rocky, I would get out and I go over here to ApeSwap and paste that into Rocky. Then the WBNB I should get back is 20, which is like six grand. And in fact, you could change the numbers. Uh, you know, I could put in here, for example, um, something like 0 0.01 BNB, that would give me, you know, a ton of Rocky, paste that in here, and you see I'd get $25,000 worth of WBNB. Uh, you can see here that the price impact basically is 99.75%, um, which is quite, which is quite interesting. So, you know, what, what does this mean? And, and why have I not just gone and made 25 grand and i'll tell you it's not for the lack of trying so here's some code i'm running at the moment which is basically just going and finding um arbitrage opportunities so i've, I've written a smart contract that can read and detect arbitrage and i'm finding that that contract works far quicker than just working with ethers or web3 or whatever um, it, it seems to calculate arbitrage opportunities far quicker and of course writing a smart contract to do that and running it on your own node would be obviously the fastest way to do it. But in testing this out, you know, I've been printing out some results. Um, this is something I want to build into crypto wizards, I want people to be able to see results like popping up, um, you know, and, and then be able to actually use a flash loan, without having to do any coding to go and execute it. So that's what I'm trying to, to work on at the moment, no promises, it's technically um, challenging to build that into a into a website. But anyway, I'm doing that at the moment. And, you know, here, this printout, basically, don't worry about what all this means, because it's like, you're not gonna, it's just nonsense. But this printout here is telling me that I would get 79 WBNB back. And I'm like, I'm looking at these numbers. And I'm like, that can't be true. So, you know, it must be a problem with my code. So I go and I actually um, check it out here, you know, and lo and behold, 79 WBNB, and I'm thinking what's going on. So then I've gone over here to a smart contract that I've deployed to the blockchain that anyone can use to go and arbitrage with flash loans. And so I'm going to be making this accessible for people to be able to actually go and interact with this. But as part of doing that, I thought, oh, well, here's a great opportunity to test out this new uh, smart contract. Here it is. Uh, if you're wondering how to build this stuff, I've just done a whole course on Udemy. You can pick it up on a flash sale for dirt cheap. Or if you're already on CryptoWizards.net, it's free for you. Just you can do the course. You have the code. So there's nothing here. There's all this code exists. And so I've written this smart contract that basically allows you to, to do this. And I've gone and tested it out. So here's the transaction hash, etc. Now, if I go to BSC scan, um, so let's go over here to be a C scan and actually see why this arbitrage didn't work for me and uh, etc. Let's actually go and have a look here. So here's the transaction and says transfer failed, pancake transfer failed. So this is a transfer that failed on pancake swap, it failed here. So getting any Rocky whatsoever out of pancake swap is pretty tricky. And it could be due to slippage tolerance um, over here. I haven't really played around with that. Probably you'll play around with it before I do and go and make yourself tons of money potentially. Um, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know why it's failed. I haven't looked into that yet. But it's failed. And it's not because the smart contract doesn't work because I've done one very similar to the smart contract with triangular arbitrage and it works fine. I'm pretty sure the, the smart contract is working. Um, but I think that this is a, an interesting example here of where flash loans are very important because this transaction to trade that cost me 78 cents, right? That's what the gas cost me 
for this transaction, I was putting in a price of 5.5 GUE with like a huge gas limit. You know, it, it would allow like up to five or six dollars worth of gas. And I'm doing that right now just for testing because I don't want my transactions failing because of gas. And this is not on testnet. This is on mainnet, right? I'm deploying these contracts to mainnet, um, uh, etc. And, you know, to do that, for those of you who have done the course, uh, as I mentioned in the course, you know, you can deploy a contract. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Just by running the script, you know, hard hat deploy JS network mainnet, just like I said, and it works absolutely perfectly. It works swimmingly. But the importance here of the flash loan meant that I lost 78 cents. Whereas I could have ended up in a tricky situation where some kind of transfer did happen, but then I couldn't get it back, couldn't transfer back to any meaningful coin. Because it's a flash loan, I actually don't care what the slippage is. It doesn't bother me at all what the slippage tolerance should be, for example. Because if the transaction failed, I it didn't make profit, it's as though the transaction never happened. My total risk here was still 78 cents, no matter what happened. It's still just 78 cents. So, you know, no big winnings here. Unfortunately, I'm not $25,000 richer um, before making this video. But I wanted to record this just to show you what this process looks like, but also why I think flash loans are, are, are so important. It's also not a surprise that this popped up as an arbitrage opportunity. And if you're wondering what you know this here is doing, I'm basically just developing some algorithms around efficiently and very quickly and rapidly finding arbitrage opportunities between DEXs on PancakeSwap because the gas fees are right in the sweet spot between there actually being opportunities and, and a competitive advantage compared to other blockchains. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm testing it out and I'm going to get it. If, if it looks good, I'll have it up on the Crypto Wizards platform as, you know, the new version of RBDEX because RBDEX, basically only PancakeSwap makes sense. You'll see Uniswap and QuickSwap not working at the moment, either that or no opportunities. To me, they're pointless having there, if I'm honest. But PancakeSwap continues to present opportunities where you can get, you know, almost like free tokens. Um, and so that's where I'm doing some development around um, at the moment. Will this still be fruit? Will it be fruitful? And will it be fruitful in six months? Probably not. Who knows? It's crypto. But I thought you might find this uh, interesting. If you have any comments or helpful tips uh, to help me make this more profitable, feel free to put them in the comments as always. So until the next video, take care and talk soon.